In the grand tapestry of life, betrayal weaves an intricate pattern. The pattern is complex, with threads of mistrust, lies and deceit intertwining to form a maze of hurt and pain. The depth of this pattern is as vast as the ocean's abyss. The pain inflicted echoes through the canyons of the heart. Predators lurk in the shadows, their faces masked in deception. Their smiles, their words, their actions, all a clever disguise, a ruse to hide their true intentions. They hide behind the facade of friendship, a mask that shields their inner resentment and jealousy. Their actions are orchestrated with precision and cunning. Their moves are calculated and cold. Like a predator stalking its prey, they wait for the perfect moment to strike. They unleash their venom, their words and actions like a dagger to the heart, leaving deep, painful scars. They attempt to mar the spirit, to break down the soul, to shatter the heart into a million pieces. Their goal is to diminish the light within, to extinguish the fire of hope and determination. Yet, in the aftermath of their attack, they pose as the victim. Their deceit is shrouded in a cloak of innocence, their actions justified by twisted truths and false narratives. They shed crocodile tears, their sobs echo in the empty chambers of their hearts. They play the victim, their innocence a veil for their true colors. But is it not said God watches all? He sees through the facades, the masks, the veils, every scheme, every lie, every act of betrayal laid bare before his all-seeing eyes. There is no hiding from divine justice. There is no escape from the truth. All arrogance, all pride, all deceit is stripped away under his gaze. The chosen ones, the victims of such treachery, wronged yet resilient, find their strength in this celestial oversight. They find solace in the divine, their faith unwavering, their spirit unbroken. They harness the pain, the hurt, the betrayal and transform it into strength, into resilience, into determination. They rise, their spirit unbroken, their faith unscathed. The perpetrators, once hidden behind masks of innocence, now face the consequences of their actions. Their masks shattered, their true selves revealed, their insecurities, their jealousy, their resentment is no longer hidden, no longer a weapon. It is exposed, it is stripped bare, it is rendered powerless. This saga of deceit, betrayal and triumph is a testament to the divine. For in the face of deceit and betrayal, the chosen ones emerge stronger, their spirit untarnished. It is a tale of victory, a tale of resilience, a tale of truth prevailing over falsehood. For God sees all, ensures all, and in his divine justice, the truth prevails. As the curtain rises on the stage of treachery, a chilling spectacle unfolds. The faces that once radiated warmth and amiability now expose their true malevolent nature. These are individuals camouflaged as allies, their hearts brimming with jealousy and resentment, their smiles concealing their venom. The same faces, those that were once the epitome of tenderness, now transformed into impassive masks of evil, their eyes shrieking with unspoken malevolence. Their actions, previously believed as gestures of amity, are now discerned as the very mechanisms they use to relentlessly plant the seeds of their deceitful venture. Every interaction was a planned charade, every word spoken, a part of their elaborate web of deception, every smile a cruel mockery of the trust they were bestowed. Even the most innocuous of gestures were manipulated by them, turned into tools of their vile conspiracy. Every moment spent together, every shared laughter, every seemingly innocent exchange was their opportunity to plot, to scheme, and to plan for the inevitable ambush that they had been orchestrating. The betrayal was not an isolated act. It wasn't a spontaneous act of treachery, it was instead a long series of calculated maneuvers, a strategic game of chess the Chosen Ones were unknowingly manipulated to play the pawn, a pawn in a game they didn't even know they were a part of. They were not stabbed in the back by an enemy, they were betrayed by a friend. The pain was not merely physical, it was emotional, it was psychological. It was the pain of deception, the pain of a shattered trust, the pain of a broken heart. It was amplified, the shock, the disbelief, the raw realization of the betrayal. The agony was further intensified by the harsh truth that the betrayal came from a friend, a person they had trusted, a person they had loved. However, they did not crumble under the weight of the treachery. They did not let the betrayal shatter them, did not let it shatter their spirit. They held their heads high, their spirits unbroken, their faith unwavering. They did not let the treachery define them or dictate their future actions. They did not let it tarnish their faith, humanity, or the goodness of the world. They faced the treachery with courage 
with resilience, with an unyielding faith in themselves and in their strength, for they knew God was watching. He had witnessed everything, the cruel game of deception, the unmasking of the predators. He had seen the masks fall off. He had seen true faces of the insincere friends. He had seen the pain in their eyes, the anguish in their hearts. And in his divine justice, he would ensure that the truth prevails. He would ensure that the predators pay for their actions, pay for their betrayal. He would ensure that justice is served, that the truth shines brighter than the deception, that the innocent find peace. The chosen ones, though wounded and betrayed, do not let their spirits falter. Their pain, their enduring suffering is not in vain. Yet they burn with a fierce determination that has been forged in the fires of adversity. Their spirits, unbowed and unbroken, rise with the grace of a phoenix ascending from its own smoldering ashes. Each challenge they face, each wound they endure, serves only to make them stronger, more resilient. These chosen ones have been chosen for a reason. They have been selected, not for their physical strength or worldly power, but for the strength of their character, the steadfastness of their convictions, and their unwavering faith in divine justice. A justice that may not always seem immediate, that may not always seem apparent, but is always present, always watching, always waiting. It is a justice that is as inevitable as the rising of the sun and as certain as the ebb and flow of the tide. They know the actions of their predators will not go unpunished. The predators who move in the shadows, who thrive in the dark, believe that they are hidden from the sight of justice. They cloak themselves in the illusion of victory, basking in their hubris, convinced that they have defeated the chosen ones. But the game is far from over. The end is not yet written. The chosen find solace in this knowledge, bolstered by the promise of divine justice. They draw their strength from their unyielding faith, an anchor in the stormy seas of their trials. Their belief in this divine justice, in its ultimate retribution, becomes their shield, their armor against the onslaught of their adversaries. Every wound inflicted upon them, every scar imprinted on their bodies, becomes a testament to their resilience, a physical manifestation of their unshakable belief in the divine justice, a higher power. These injuries are not signs of defeat, but badges of honor, symbols of their strength, reminders of their faith and resilience. They do not seek revenge, knowing that retribution is not within their mortal grasp. They understand that their responsibility lies not in delivering justice, but in continuing to rise, to heal, to rebuild. They focus on emerging from the ashes of devastation, on rekindling the flame of hope, on rising again, stronger and more resilient than before. Bearing the marks of their trials, they move forward, heads held high, spirits unbroken. Their faith, stronger than ever, fuels their resolve, the predators may have succeeded in their betrayal, but they have yet to break the chosen ones. They have yet to shatter their spirit, to extinguish their faith, to quell their unwavering belief in divine justice. For in God's divine justice, the truth always prevails and the righteous always rise. The chosen ones, though wounded and betrayed, remain unbroken, their faith stronger than ever. The predators in their hubris may think they've won, but the game is far from over. For in God's divine justice, the truth always prevails and the righteous always rise. As the chosen ones rise, they embody a strength that is beyond mere physical endurance. This strength is not about bulging muscles or extraordinary athletic prowess. Far more profound, more ethereal than that. This is a strength of spirit, a strength that resonates from the very core of their beings, a strength of faith, a faith that has been tested and hardened in the crucible of trial and tribulation. This strength comes from deep within their souls, from the place where their deepest convictions and their most cherished beliefs reside. The chosen ones are not ordinary. They are not like the rest us. They are not born with this strength. They earn it. They earn it through pain, through suffering, through loss. They have been through the fire, the fire of life's harshest tests and most devastating disappointments. They have been betrayed, lied to, and deceived by those they trusted, by those they believed in. Life's cruel machinations were designed to break them, to bring them to their knees. Yet they did not crumble, they did not yield. They have not let these experiences define them. They have not allowed these trials to shape their identity or determine their destiny. 
Instead, they have defined themselves through their resilience, through their ability to withstand the fiercest storms and darkest nights. They have not allowed the predators to prey on their vulnerabilities, to rob them of their dignity, their self-respect, their faith. They have stood their ground, taken their hits, and kept moving forward. They stand tall, not in spite of their scars, but because of them. Their scars are a testament to their resilience, to their fortitude, to their unyielding spirit. Their wounds are not signs of weakness or failure, but symbols of strength and victory. They have transformed their pain into power, their wounds into wisdom. They have taken the shards of their shattered dreams and built a fortress of hope. The deceit and betrayal that was designed to destroy them has instead fueled their rise. They have taken negativity, the malice, the hatred thrown at them and turned it into a force for positive change. They have turned their trials, triumphs, their obstacles into stepping stones. They have used their adversities as catalysts, propelling them to greater heights. They have become a beacon of hope, a symbol, resilience, a testament to the power of faith and the triumph of the human spirit. The predators may have thought they had won, but they were gravely mistaken. For the chosen ones in their faith, their resilience, their unyielding spirit have emerged victorious. The predators' masks may have fallen off, their true colors revealed, but the chosen ones have risen, their spirit stronger, their faith unshaken, their resolve unbroken. They stand tall, their heads held high, their hearts filled with hope, their spirits radiant with the light of their triumph, their determination stronger than ever. They are the chosen ones, and they have triumphed. In the grand scheme of life, there is one thread that weaves through every story, every triumph, every setback that is the divine presence of God, a presence that is unfathomable, immeasurable, and unrestricted by the bounds of time or space. God's omnipresence is a silent witness to all that transpires in the universe. He is not just a bystander, but an all-knowing, compassionate comforter. He is the arbiter of justice, the one who maintains the balance. His omniscient gaze pierces through the veil of darkness or deceit, unmasking the hidden, the unspoken, and the unseen. He hears the silent prayers whispered in the solitude of the night, witnesses the faith that remains steadfast even in adversity. Through the tribulations and trials of the chosen ones, God's divine gaze never wavered. He beheld their faith, their resilience, and their unwavering spirit. Even in their darkest hours of despair, they never wandered from his divine vision. Likewise, the predators, the deceivers, the betrayers, they too were not hidden from his sight. The facades they wore, the deception they practiced, the treachery they committed, nothing escaped his divine gaze. And when the masks crumbled, when the deceit was unmasked, when the betrayal was brought to light, was his divine justice that prevailed. His divine gaze isn't a mere observer. It brings balance, it brings recompense. He witnessed the ascension of the chosen ones, their triumph, their transformation. Simultaneously, he observed the downfall of the predators, their defeat, their disgrace. His divine justice always reigned supreme without fail. To the chosen ones, God's omnipresence is a beacon of comfort, a source of strength, a validation of their struggles. It consoles them reassuring them that their trials are not unobserved, their efforts are acknowledged, their faith is rewarded. It instills in them the belief that they are not alone, that their pain is not unnoticed, that their victories are not unapplauded. Their belief in divine justice, divine recompense, divine triumph is strengthened manifold. This belief, this faith becomes their anchor as they voyage through the tempests of life. They hold on to this assurance, this knowledge that God's omnipresent watch is an eternal sentinel, always with them, always observing, always knowing, and always dispensing justice. They hold on to the knowledge that God's omnipresent watch is always with them, always seeing, always knowing, always bringing justice. In the grand theater of life, truth stands as an unshakable pillar. It is an immutable fact, a beacon of clarity that cannot be dulled or obscured by the veils of deceit or the tarnish of betrayal. The truth, much like a lighthouse in the darkest storm, always finds a way to shine through. It is the voice that penetrates the silence, the whisper that gradually intensifies into a full-throated roar, and the spark that lights up a blaze. The chosen ones, 
Those unfaltering in their belief exemplify this truth. They carry it in them, bearing it as their armor, their weapon, and their compass. In the face of deceit, they cling to truth like a shipwrecked sailor clings to a lifeline. In the face of betrayal, they hold fast to honesty, refusing to let go. When engulfed in their hours, they take solace in the assurance that truth will ultimately reign supreme. The path to truth is akin to a slow dance, a game of patience and an enduring test. It is fraught with many obstacles and lined with countless thorns. Yet these chosen ones persevere, knowing that the end justifies the means. They understand that the triumph of truth is worth every hardship, every struggle, every sacrifice. The moment when the truth finally steps out of the shadows and into the light is a spectacle to behold. It is the fall of the pretentious masks, the unweaving of the web of deceit, and the exposure of the hidden betrayal. It is the vindication of the chosen ones, the collapse of the deceivers, and the victorious emergence of justice. Truth in its purest form is divine justice. It is the explicit manifestation of God's omnipresent watch, his divine observation that sees all, knows all. As the chosen ones stand in their radiant light of truth, they bask in the glow of their hard-fought triumph, their journey, their struggle, and their resilience, all validated by the unfading glory of the triumph of truth. As they move forward, they carry the wisdom that truth is always victorious and that divine justice always prevails. This wisdom, this faith, fortifies them, giving them the strength they need to overcome future obstacles. It serves as their beacon, their guide, and their triumph. In their hearts, they know they are seen, recognized, appreciated, and celebrated under God's omnipresent watch. They know that every struggle they face, every battle they fight, and every decision they make is observed, acknowledged, and rewarded in the grand theater of life. This gives them the strength to continue, the courage to face challenges, and the assurance that they are not alone. The triumph of truth is their compass, their guide, their victory. It gives them the strength to face their darkest hours, the courage to stand against deception, and the faith in the ultimate victory of truth. They understand that the path may be challenging, the journey may be difficult, but in the end, truth always prevails. And they know in the depths of their hearts that they are seen, they are recognized, they are celebrated under God's omnipresent watch. In this grand saga of life, the chosen ones have emerged victorious, their faith unscathed, their spirits unbroken. They have walked through the punishing fire of deceit, battling the relentless flames of lies and falsehood. They've been tempered in the heat of treachery, their souls forged into unbreakable iron. Each trial, each tribulation, a spark that only hardened their resolve, made them more resilient, more formidable. Against a sea of betrayal, they have swam tirelessly, relentlessly. Navigating the treacherous waters of deceit, they've battled the turbulent tides of falsehoods and illusions, yet they persevered. Each wave, each storm only made them stronger, their resolve unyielding, their determination unflinching. They emerged not just survivors, but victors, stronger, braver, wiser. The onslaught of deception and treachery had not weakened them, but fortified them. They shone with the brightness of their faith, the indomitable of their spirit. The masks of deceit had fallen, the veils of duplicity torn apart. The truth had emerged victorious and triumphant. Justice in its divine form was not just served, but prevailed. The chains of falsehood were broken. The weight of deceit lifted. All under the ever watchful eyes of God, the chosen ones had proven that truth in all its glorious splendor is an unconquerable force, a beacon that cuts through the darkness of lies and deception. Yet this was not the end for them, only a single chapter in their epic tale. As they stood on the precipice of the future, they glimpsed a path by the radiant light of truth lined with the golden promise of justice. They understood that their journey was far from over. There would be more trials, more confrontations, more victories. But they also knew with absolute certainty that they were not alone. They carried with them the unwavering strength of their faith, the unstoppable force of their truth, and the unshakable knowledge of their triumph. Above all, they bore with them the comforting knowledge that they were seen, they were recognized, they were celebrated by the divine. The chosen ones in their journey 
had transformed into a beacon of hope, a symbol of resilience, a testament to the enduring power of truth. They stood as an epitome of courage, a monument to the unyielding power honesty. The journey of the Chosen Ones had become an inspiration, a spark that ignited hope in the hearts of many. As they moved forward, they did so with an unwavering conviction, a steadfast belief. They knew, no matter what trials and tribulations lay ahead, they would always rise, always triumph, always prevail. The shadows of deceit and betrayal could not touch them, for they were bathed in the light of truth. This is the legacy of the Chosen Ones, the unending journey of the truth-bearers, the testament of God's Chosen.